Just the normal day of being planet Earth, the most amazing planet in the entire universe. I'm great, I'm big, I'm powerful, all humans love me. I'm sure nothing can get better than that. <laughs> Mine's Bagel73 and uh, today we are going to be playing a game, well, uh, it's not that much of a game as it is a simulation, but then again, everything is a game for me anyway, that's what she said. But anyway, today we are going to be playing just Universe Sandbox Squared or 2 or whatever you want, like to call it. I don't really care, but okay. Now, I know I'm supposed to do a 200 subscriber special right now, but I've decided to cancel it due to my laziness, and I'm at 206 right now, so it's a bit too late. Once again, that's what she said. So uh, what I'm actually gonna do is uh, I'm actually gonna wait until I have 250 subscribers, then at that point, not only will I make a subscriber special, I'll also be doing a giveaway, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, before you go make fun of my looks, I did get a haircut once again, and it looks absolutely freaking awful. Go dislike and leave your hate comment down below if you don't like it. Just, it had to happen, okay? <sighs> I look like a freaking 52-year-old. But anyway, enough chitter chatter chin tran. Let's get into the freaking game. So anyway, so uh, it looks like we're at uh, late January of 2018 right now. It's about half a year into the future, and uh, yeah. There is our home right here, Planet Earth. It's spinning pretty satisfyingly. And there's some science lessons for you guys. It's about the size of 1.00 Earths. No crap, Sherlock. It's 6,371 kilometers in radius. Thought it was a bit bigger than that, but okay. It's 5.51 grams per centimeter cubed. 14.4 degrees Celsius. Holy crap, that is actually pretty cold. And uh, it's moving at about 29.7 kilometers a second. All right, well, that was some science lessons for you guys, and uh, yeah. Here is the sun. It's 1.00 suns big, and uh, excuse me if there's too much pop on my microphone. It's right in front of my face right now instead of about a meter away from me, but uh, you need to give me more information other than 1.00 sun. The Milky Way. Okay, that's too small. It's about 333,000 Earths big. This and this sun is literally about like not even 20 centimeters from left to right on my screen. So that is some freaking quantum mechanics over here, but uh I got a D for science, so uh, I don't really care. It is 5502 degrees Celsius. How the hell is that even possible? O okay, okay, okay. It's apparently that hot. It's probably still not as hot as Taylor Swift though. Even though she breaks up 239,000 times every nanosecond. But okay. So I actually want to look at some stuff in this universe simulation over here. So uh, here's Earth. So uh, I guess I could actually change some of the values. So uh, if I change the radius to, uh, let's go 10 times bigger, 63710. Holy freaking crap. The Earth is freaking humongous and it's freezing. It's... It's down to 37.7 degrees Celsius right now. Well, I'm not sure how we'll be able to live in a world that big, but I'm just gonna make it its normal size again. Or else I might even need a heater in the summer. There we go. You're back to normal size and uh, back to normal temperature as well. What is, what is going on? Why is it? All right. I have no idea what happened to the earth, but I apparently broke it. GG. Hello, son, my son. You know what I'm gonna do to you, my son? I am going to launch. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's launch Mars at the sun. L okay, that happened way too fast. I gotta slow it a bit down. Fire it again. Let's switch to a different angle, maybe. It, th that was uninteresting. Let's fire a Jupiter at you then. And let's slow things way down. Go! Okay, that's a bit too slow, but uh, I think that's ideal. And boo! Whoa! What the f? The sun just became like 50 million times bigger. And apparently, Earth is still frozen. Let's keep getting lower. I don't know what happened that actually made the sun bigger by firing a Jupiter at it, but uh, I'd be curious to find out. 
And the earth is only getting colder. You know what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna explode uh, one Hiroshima at you, which is probably gonna be nothing because the sun is so big. When the atomic bomb was dropped at Hiroshima, the earth didn't do any crap, so I doubt this will do anything to the sun. Did the sun just... Did... The sun just became a freaking supernova! Wait, what? That was one Hiroshima! Hey, if you know World War II, you probably know that it exploded Japan and... What? Is that what it's gonna be like when North Korea drops a bomb at the US? They just did a nuclear test and I'm a bit scared. Planets are moving away from- Look at Neptune, it's 4000 degrees Celsius. Get wrecked, Neptune. And yes, I actually mean it. Get freaking wrecked, Neptune. Neptune's like a mini sun right now. We and that's all caused by a tiny little Hiroshima explosion. Well. Let's actually open another simulation, actually. Let's go look at Saturn and Neptune. No rings. Hmm. Seems legit. So there is Saturn, and Neptune is orbiting around it. Let's go speed the simulation up a bit. Oh. What is going on right now? Saturn is over 4,000 degrees Celsius. Neptune is falling apart. Wait, what? What? What is this meant... Uh, okay, okay, w what is this meant to ha Alright, apparently... I have so many new questions I have to ask. This just dissolved in Neptune. Look at this! It looks like a freaking new galaxy from a far away distance. No, it actually doesn't. And Neptune is almost the size of an Earth. Except, it's so hot that it's pretty much unlivable. Obviously. Okay, well, that was Neptune and Saturn. Saturn got wrecked, which is pretty sad, but Neptune, you deserve that. I'm, I'm, I'm serious, you deserve that. Let's go look at some more simulations. So, uh, Planet Composition Cube. Wait, oh, it's just a bunch of planets. Oh, okay. Mind if I play a game with you, planets? How about I power and launch a Neptune at you guys? Let's go launch at this angle, and, uh, yeah. Prepare to get wrecked, all of you. Let's see how many I can knock out, actually. Neptune's coming nearby. It's actually gonna hit. Wait. It's going really close now. Let's look at the Neptune cam. It's gonna hit all the planets. It, it's coming, it's coming. There we go. Oh, this is the why? Oh, okay. Well, I actually knocked out less plants than I expected, but I still knocked out a few. If I was to launch a couple more Neptunes at this thing, then it'll probably be dead. Well, just can you die? You see you later. You know what? I had enough fun now. I better stop this Neptune madness before I get banned on APXC. And, uh, let's go, uh, block still Earths. Let's go look at, uh, let's see, uh, Earth at 1 million degrees. What would that look like? What? The Earth? Wait. Wait, what? What the freak just happened? Let's reload this thing and, um, uh, let's just see. It, it just explodes and it... Alright, that's it. Well, okay. Well, just keeps on exploding, right? Just, is that all you do? Well, not only will Earth at a million degrees destroy everything on Earth, excluding me because I'm a superhuman, it, it will be pretty boring. It will just shine like a star. It... Okay. What about Earth a bit colder at, uh, let's go 50,000 degrees? It, it explodes? Pretty much does the exact same thing as Earth at a million degrees, but 
unlike Earth at a million degrees, the Earth at 50,000 degrees actually dissolve into some fragments and that's it. Okay. Let's go Earth at 5,000 degrees. At least that's now colder than the sun and uh... Bunch of stuff spew out and uh, if I actually revert that back to a normal temperature, will that actually do anything? It'll return to a normal Earth with China, Japan and this place that I live in right now. It, it will be a normal Earth except normal water because that's, that's all boiled away. At least the Earth will still be Earth at 5000 degrees. Let's go look at Earth in between suns. What would that look like? It, so the suns are all orbiting around the Earths. It's getting really hot, 60 degrees Celsius. If you live in Antarctica, you'll still survive. Well, probably not anymore. It's 70, 80, 90 degrees. Wait, what? Not sure how stuff heavier than the Earth will actually still orbit around it, but uh... Okay! The Earth is now an inhabitable place with an average temperature of 124 degrees Celsius. You probably can't even live in Antarctica anymore. But uh, surprisingly, the oceans are still here. And look at it. Only this part, which has no sunlight in it, is nighttime. Well, that's one good point. And the oceans over here, around China, like the coast waters, are now boiling away. Let's go look at a different simulation now. And uh, let's go uh, orbit bowling ball. What? What the heck is that? This is a bowling ball about 10.8 centimeters in diameter. And these baseballs are minus 270 degrees Celsius. And when these baseballs collide with the bowling ball, pretty much nothing happens. Wait, actually something do happen. When these baseballs merge into each other, they become heavier now. This baseball is about to hit into the bowling ball. Let, let's see what happens here. It goes in. It, the, the bowling ball becomes heavier. It doesn't work like that, it'll just float up on the bowling ball. And I'm pretty sure a bowling ball doesn't have magnetic fields. There's one thing this game needs to fix. Let's go look at uh, planet 9 in our solar system, that's Pluto, I know that. Even though Pluto is no longer a planet, but okay. Earth and many moons 2x. And it's just a bunch of moons colliding with each other, eventually going into Earth. This one looks pretty Earth-like, it's called Tassidinic. It's colliding into Earth. and. More and more stuff are going into the Earth now. And now the Earth is not a habitable place at 735 degrees Celsius. <sighs> this, this store doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go away from the Neptune stuff because I'll just make fun of Neptune all along. And uh, if I keep making fun of Neptune, I'll eventually get banned on APXC. Let's go to Earth exploding an 8 series. Now, what the, he what the heck is that? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, Wait, that that totally didn't scare me. What even happened? Let's reload this and look at it again. So the earth apparently explodes it... Right earth exploding in real time Okay. And uh, as a final test, let's go look at Earth and close moon. So uh, let's look at what happens if the moon was actually pretty close. And the moon, how does that even work? It, stuff cr- wait, 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 I'm editing it. Wait, let's, let's reload that, I did a horrible job. The moon will disintegrate. All of its stuff will crash down into Earth because of gravity and it. The Earth is not even getting affected. Let's speed this up a bit. And... Oh. Right. Well, that apparently happens. Well, thankful. Anyways, guys, I had enough fun and uh, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Hope you guys have all enjoyed. Please like. Let's see if we can get to our 10 likes, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys all in my next episode.